Good day to everyone. I'm Mad Wantamad and welcome to another video here at Madodal Channel. For this video, we'll show you our two grow bed elevated system. Okay, so let us now introduce our red tilapia. Here we have our red tilapia fingerlings. It has been acclimatizing in the water. So the water inside the plastic and the water outside will equalize. So about it's a submerged now for about 10 minutes. Let's now open the bag. So the bag is filled with oxygen. So the oxygen will last for 10 hours when you transfer the fish. Then slowly introduce water from the fish tank to the plastic. So let's introduce about 50% of the volume of the water inside the plastic. And then slowly release the fingerlings. Make sure all the fingerlings are outside the plastic bag. So the fingerlings are now acclimatized and are now happy inside the fish tank. So now let's now introduce our crayfish. Okay, so we have a cray, uh, crayfish here. Can you see the crayfish? Okay, so the crayfish are bottom feeders, so they are filter feeders. They will feed on the excess uh, tilapia waste. We'll place them inside our floating raft. So this is our floating raft. We'll place the crayfish here. Again, place 50% of the system water inside the plastic bag. Let's remove some of the plants. Let's see if there are crayfish trapped in there. No? Okay. Um, so here's an example of the crayfish. There, and put it there. Ow. <laughs> okay, so we leave some and then we put some here in the filter. So in the filter, we also have excess solids. So we place some here in the radial flow filter. There. And some here in the brush filter part. Okay. So let's place some in the Okay. So the the crayfish will eat the uneaten fish waste and help clean our filter. Okay? So next let, let us explain the flow of the system. So from the fish tank, we have 100 tilapia the water will go out to our solid lifting outlet over there. So that's our solid lifting outlet. It sucks in water from the bottom and exits to the top of the T. From that T, let's go at the back. So it exits the fish tank here at this elbow. It will go down and it will go up here at the radial flow. So this is the radial flow filter. So water from the fish tank with the fish waste will exit this cone and will prevent the water from going to the next part. So it will force the, all the solids to go down and it will settle down the drain. So we have a drain at the bottom. This drain is used for maintenance cleaning. Okay, And then water will go up to the next stage which is, which is the brush filter. So the brush filter will filter the medium solids and then it will go to the next brush filter over here okay and then it will go to the matalamat filter so the matalamat filter will overflow to our sump so this is our sump the level right now is slow because the bell siphon is filling up so when the bell siphon drains it will go up 
So we here we have our moving bed filter. So this is K1 Media, which houses good bacteria. So the pump is located here. This is our pump. That's our small pump, which powers the system. Okay, and then it will go up and pump water to the grow bed. So this is the gravel grow bed. Water enters our gravel grow bed through this pipe, which is controlled through this valve, and then exits the bell siphon over here. Okay, so that's the bell siphon. And then part of the water is also delivered to our floating raft. So part of the water is delivered to our floating raft over here. So this is just a, a floating styrofoam raft with net pots and with lettuce seedlings. So let's look at one seedling. So this is our lettuce seedling. This is uh, two weeks old from seed and we'll wait for another three weeks and we can harvest this already. Okay, so from that uh, inlet, it exits a standpipe over here. So the standpipe controls the level of the floating raft. So the floating raft uh, maintains a level that will prevent water from spilling or prevent water from um, uh, spilling out the system. Okay, so this is the exit of the standpipe and it goes back to the fish tank. So the bell siphon is already starting. This is the exit of the standpipe and this is the exit of the bell, bell siphon. So it's already starting. Let's look at how it starts. So this is the bell siphon. The level is already filled. And this is the bell. So that's the standpipe of the bell. Let's look at the bell. So the bell is just a sealed pipe which serves as a vacuum for our gravel bed, okay? So let's wait for that to start. So it started already. So the exit of the bell siphon also adds aeration to our fish tank. So that's a lot of aeration for our fish tank, okay? So as you can see, the water is draining. So look at the uh, level here. It's already draining. And for additional aeration, we have air stones, okay? So the air stones are powered by this small compressor over here. So this is the small compressor. It powers the aeration system through a, through a manifold. So let's look at the manifold. So these are the manifolds. You control the level of aeration by controlling these valves. Okay. So basically, that is our two grow bed elevated system. And if you want to expand this, this is expandable up to 10 grow beds. So again, if you haven't subscribed yet, uh, like, subscribe, and share no? uh, Madodo channel. And thank you for watching.